across Wales in our communities and throughout all of our public services, people are really busy preparing for and responding to the outbreak of coronavirus. What we write or say today is obviously going to change tomorrow in this rapidly developing situation as the virus and control measures begin to affect everybody. That requires a team effort and what's clear is the remarkable efforts being made by social care and health workers day and night protecting people who are vulnerable. As police officers we're used to dealing with events that sadly have a profound impact on individuals, on families and even on whole communities but it's really extraordinary to be part of this response, a response to coronavirus with its effects felt by every single household and across businesses in the UK and well beyond. Something that doesn't change in all of that is the dedication of the women and men of South Wales Police to keeping you safe. From our vital support functions to the very front line of policing, our teams are working incredibly hard, as they do day in, day out, throughout the year, to ensure the most vulnerable in our communities are protected and supported. For anyone in need of our help, it's really important for me to stress that our service is holding up well. And that remains the case even after the self-isolation measures that are impacting on our workforce, as well as the additional effort we're putting into planning and responding to the current challenges. As a force, we would normally put resources every day and every week into policing pubs and clubs in our town and city centres and to the public safety of events, ranging from huge concerts to international sport. So just now, with the restrictions in place, we've been able to redirect some of that effort towards ensuring we continue to meet other needs in communities. And in the last few weeks, we've activated tried and tested plans. We're working very closely with other organisations, including local councils and the NHS. Personally, I'm engaged every day with the leadership of other organisations. I feel very privileged to have seen the incredible job being done across the health service and by our close colleagues in the Welsh Ambulance Trust. This partnership of organisations has stepped up before. Perhaps never quite in the way required by coronavirus, but there's a really strong track record of communities and our services pulling together at critical times. Just looking back on the last decade, South Wales Police and its partners have secured NATO events in Cardiff, played our part in policing riots and terrorist incidents across the UK, and even in recent weeks we've responded to emergencies like flooding. So we're absolutely here to serve and protect communities, and we're doing that today despite the many challenges. Having planned for major operations and critical incidents, we've activated those plans many different ways, many times, and that's exactly what our experienced commanders are doing now. Of course, the force is made up of people with families too. We're constantly reviewing the impact on my colleagues and doing everything we can to ensure they remain safe and well in line with government health advice. Myself and other senior officers are speaking with colleagues every day through internal routes to make sure we understand and respond to their experiences. Those colleagues are used to working under pressure, of course, and it's always the case that we have to prioritise our calls for service. You might have read some media reports about changes to policing, and of course, we are planning for potential scenarios, but we've not had to make any significant changes to services that we provide at present, and we'll keep you advised through our website and social media of any specific changes. Our focus is always going to be on protecting the lives and safety of our communities. Central to that protection now is the government's health advice and we'll continue to share that. We've all got a responsibility to follow the advice and ensure that services can cope with the challenges ahead to protect and care those who need them most. We'll obviously keep you informed about any specific crime prevention advice as well. We certainly would encourage people only to give money for shopping, for example, to people they know and to be wary of cold callers and telephone scams. Frankly, it's infuriating that I even have to say that, that criminals would think of exploiting this situation and you can rest assured there'll be a robust response to anyone who does. But even despite those concerns, I'm really struck by the way communities are pulling together. For every story of panic buying, there are remarkable stories of personal kindness and professional care. And we'll continue to apply the same care and professionalism now working with other organisations to keep people safe and to help them feel safe at this unsettling time. South Wales Police is such an important part of the communities we live and work in at any time, and this time will be no different. We'll keep you updated about how we're doing that and how you can contact us when you need us.